Independence is full of rich history and several African Americans have helped grow the city into the place we know and love today. Nancy and Samuel Harris have lived in Independence their whole lives. They say growing up black presented its own unique experience and challenges. I lived in the neck uh, where Truman's library is and during that time of uh, the neck it was predominantly uh, black area and I went to young school and tell the time of segregation I was in the last graduating eighth grade class. I was raised right across the street from what is now William Christmas High School but it was art school and get up every morning and have to walk a mile to go to a, a black school and, and there was a white school just right straight across the street from me. So it doesn't sound like much but that's a very, that occurred a heavy impact on a child. You recognize a school that was a little short with the teachers that may not have been quite as advanced as they would have been had you been in, in, in a white school system. This mural is located on the second floor of the Sermon Center, paying tribute to significant African Americans and independents. Nancy is one of them. I taught these girls how to do different dances and all, and we had a recital every year. The mural also featuring some family members of Nancy and Samuel. Sam Shepard, he would build the first courthouse. He's my great, great, great uncle. I got an uncle that's down there with the with the little goat and the wagon. Harm Young is also in the mill. All of the seven black churches that were here, they are represented in that mill. For over 30 years, Nancy and Samuel have helped put on the annual Martin Luther King Jr. program. The event takes place at the Truman Memorial Building, where local speakers, choirs, and schools help honor his legacy. It was here at the Sermon Center where the first program was was uh, uh, done. My son did the I Had a Dream speech. That was the first speech that was held. And we got death threats and everything, and people calling that, why don't you let sleeping dogs lie and all. We were scared to death. This because of the speech, you know, they just got all up in arms and everything. But since that time, people come to understand that Dr. King was not just for black people. He struggled, he died, and did all these things for everybody. In the end, the couple says we should all celebrate black history because black history is American history. If you don't celebrate who you are, nobody else will. And we should always let people know, if you don't tell the story, nobody would know about it. The more I know about the past, the further I can see into the future. So if we can go back and pick up some of these things on the Black History Program and bring it forward, and you know, there's gonna be some kids there, there's gonna be some uh, whomever, some adults there, and maybe they will have a better understanding of, of what African Americans had to go through to get to this point in life. We will continue to live in, in Independence, Missouri, and it, I think that the, my life here, I didn't, wasn't raised with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I was able to sustain my life and be able to live a comfortable life as a black woman in Independence, Missouri.